I can't imagine being in high school and be able to that do that. That would be fun. And here tonight in Studio A with GTN's Mary Klein is weekly reader, student, reporter Ashley Nardahl. Welcome back to the program, Mary, and good evening to you, Ashley. Thanks, Jody. I'm not sure if Ashley can hear you, but uh, <laughs> she's all set and ready to go. So Ashley, well first tell me, I mean I read your essay, what an honor to be selected for this. Tell me what um, first made you decide to to get involved in this contest. Um, well, my, te my teacher from last year, um, Mrs. Tully, um, she brought Weekly Reader in um, for us to read as a class. And I thought it was really cool that um, kids about my age could um, do articles. Mm -hmm. And I thought um, it'd be pretty cool if I could do that too, so. And so, like I said, I read your essay, but why don't you just kind of explain what you wrote in your essay? Well, that's right, why um, I think I'd be a good student reporter. And um, most of it was probably because I think I'm responsible mm -hmm. and um, that um, I don't really always take the easy way out of some things. Well, I, one thing that I noticed was that you're very enthusiastic. So do you think that played a part in your selection? Um, I think it did, yeah. So now tell me, how, how long did it take for you to find out that you got picked? Um, well, I wrote it in May, and I found out um, I th around June. Okay, and what um, what was your reaction? I mean, were you surprised? Um, yeah, because I forgot about it by then, and um, well, when my mom got off the phone, she started jumping up and down. So, um, and then when she told me, I started jumping up and down too, and um, it was really exciting. Oh, and I'm sure. So, what did your friends at school say? Were they um, jealous? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um, the first person I probably told um, was, um, I, um, I, I think it was my neighbor, Emma Jones, mm -hmm. and um, she was excited for me. Um, she's a year younger than me, and um, she was um, in a different class, so she didn't get to read it, so she didn't really know what I was talking about. Um, and um, I don't... I couldn't tell if my friends were jealous. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, um, I'm sure at least some of them are probably excited for you and certainly your family and your teacher. <laughs> now, ex we were talking about um, what was your first day at the convention like? Um, you were really, you saw everything really on the first day. Um, well, first when we got there, we met, me and my dad met the editor at the Capitol mm -hmm. and um, at the Capitol, we saw lots of protesters, and um, we um, once we got to the RNC, it was a lot um, more calm and definitely. Yeah. So, were you kind of surprised by seeing that? I mean, um, had you seen anything like that before? Um, I don't think I have. Um, see, I see St. Paul a lot, and seeing it like that was really um, weird. Um, mm -hmm. But then it was calm, yeah. you got to the Excel, then it calmed down a little yeah. bit. But you did get to meet some interesting people. Why don't you um, tell our viewers? I met um, a mayor of Muskogee, um, Oklahoma, and um, he's the youngest mayor in the United States. Um, he, he's, he's, 20, old. he's 20 okay. years old. And um, I met the Secretary of Education and um, Margaret Spellings. And then I met a, um, um, I met a delegate from Texas mm -hmm. and a delegate from Florida. And so were you, was part of your assignment to interview and write articles about these specific people or did you just happen to meet them while um, you were there? I um, was um, supposed to meet them there and um, we, at the end of each day we went there, we kind of, um, me and the editor um, wrote, um, put all the stuff we learned from that day and put it into a, um, a few paragraphs and then it got put on the website. Mm -hmm. So I bet this 
made you feel really important doing this kind of work? Um, if it, it felt um, really different. Different um, than your day-to-day -day school stuff? Yeah. Was it more fun um, than going to school? <laughs> yeah, um, it was definitely more exciting than mm -hmm. um, sitting at a desk all day. Now, I'm just going to quickly ask you, today you said that you did some exit polling. Yes. What was um, that all about? Tell our viewers what you did today. Well, um, I, um, I went to a um, voting place, um, and um, I waited in the parking lot, and then once somebody came out, um, I, I'd ask them, um, I'd ask them first um, if whoever they voted for, um, who, how do they think they will um, change the country? And the second thing I asked them was, um, what do you think the most important issue is in the United States? And then um, the third one, which is optional, I asked them um, who they said, wanted to vote for. You said for. before that people were concerned about the economy. Yes. They, um, all three of the people I asked were um, both of their all um, all of their answers for the most important issue and for um, how they think they'll change the country. They both answered something to do with the economy. So. Well, speaking of change, Ashley, I think that you have a great future in writing, perhaps reporting. So, hopefully, you can make some changes in the future, and we sure appreciate you coming in here and keep up the good work. <laughs> Back to you guys over in Studio B. Thanks, Mary. What Thanks, an Mary. impressive young lady. She is wow, amazing. Wow, she's awesome. I think she could have a future here on um, GTN or on <laughs> TV. Absolutely. And we've been checking out um, yeah. some early returns in the state now, races. About 25% of the precincts reporting, it looks like they, uh, on the constitutional amendment. You know, and this is all preliminary.